Hey, this is Bug Powder Dust. Thanks for joining me for something a little bit different, Prison Architect. I'm taking a bit of a pause from RimWorld while I uh, pl finish planning out and completing the RimWorld Intermediate Guide, which is proving to be a bit of a Pandora's box, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> There's so much to cover. Um, doing a beginner's guide was really easy. You could just leave out the difficult stuff, but now I've got to talk about it. So I'm going to release um, some more, a little bit light-hearted content uh, running a prison. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're trying to avoid riots and uh, and people getting shanked in the showers. So I thought I'd uh, I'd run with this for a little bit, just one every now and again. There's no not going to be any uh, sort of daily output necessarily. If I get the time, I will. Um, I've not played Prison Architect for a long time. I used to play it all the time, but probably since about three years ago, I stopped and I haven't gone back to it. Now I know that Introversion sold it to Paradox. And Paradox have taken the ball and they've run with it. And they've added lots of things to it. So the way things work is slightly different to what I've been used to. So we are going to uh, sort of um, go through it together, if you like. So I'm going to create a new prison. I'm going to go with medium. This whole choose your warden thing is quite new. I'm going to stick with what I knew. I'm going to stick with the German Shepherd and just the warden. Um, fog of war is fine. Generate forest is fine. I don't want gangs particularly. Uh, prison transfers we'll go with weather and temperature not for now and definitely not gangs we'll go with events i think because that was quite good fun i think um i'll go with that for now so without further ado let's just crack on so fairly standard map um, i know they brought out a new dlc called island bounds but i understand it's a little bit buggy at the moment so i thought i'd just crack on with this i'm not going to spend a lot of time doing sort of plans and stuff i'll just go with it organically although the first thing i will do is turn off the prison intake just for now because having prisoners before we've even sort of done anything is uh, rather foolish they have got these quick builds here which is quite interesting so i probably will be taking making use of these these are very new to me never used to have this option um they introduced this when it was released on the ipad uh, which was, I think, a really good idea, obviously, because if you've got something on a smaller screen with purely touch controls, then you're going to need things like this. And then they've obviously imported it into the main game. So this is quite useful, and I probably will use this. Um, but there's been lots of changes been made, so I'm going to have to get used to those as well. They've made the planning tool a lot clearer and a lot more useful, I think, which I think is really good, including the Build Plans button, which I think is really cool. Um, all right, so let, let's get going now without further ado. The first thing we're going to need is a reception room. Um, so we don't have a quick build for that so let's go with this building brick and they're going to come in I want to keep this central corridor running right down the prison if I can try and stick to that theme so this is where the, the delivery areas are um, have a reception room sort of uh, let me see six yeah, it doesn't have to be massive something like that I think we'll do um, and we'll get a door in there as well uh, weather doors walls and doors doors and we'll have a staff door uh, I'm going to turn the sound up a little bit. I had to turn it down a bit for that music at the at the start because that was quite loud. Okay, that's better. I can actually hear, think, hear what they're doing now. Now what they're doing now, I'm also going to put visitation in near the front as well because I don't want to have visitors traipsing all the way through the building. But of course by doing visitation at the front means that I'm going to have to do a back entrance for the prisoners to come in as well. So having it near the front may not be such a great idea. Perhaps put storage here instead so they haven't got to come too far. Mm, let's go with this instead. I'll, I'll put visitation here for now. And if you have to move it all around, we'll do that. So let's, let's move that around. Stick visitation in there. All right, cool. Uh, utility room, I think, makes a lot of sense. Stick utility room down here. Um, we're going to have... Uh, let me just speed things up a little bit. We're going to get some flooring in. I quite like paving stones. They look quite cool. And then just run that just down there, just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so visitation room's been finished. Let's uh, let's make it a visitation room. Um, I do wish I had these in alphabetical order. They still haven't done that, and I don't really know why. It just seems like something obvious to me, but anyway, there we go. Such is life. Now, one nice touch with this is if you go to zoom in on the visitation room and go to objects, if you zoom in far enough, it'll tell you... Sorry, I didn't want visitation. I actually meant reception. That's complete... Ugh, made my first mistake. Well, didn't take long, did it? So I actually want that to be reception, not visitation. There we go. Now, if you zoom in on the on the on the reception room while having the objects room highlighted, it highlights in white what you're going to need in the office, which is a really nice touch. So let's switch that around. We're going to get a nice chair. We're going to get a table, which we'll put along the wall, and I think that's it. So indoors, it's not indoors. 
Oh, it is indoors. There we go. Office desk, table, and chair, which we have. Perfect. So that's the reception room done. The station room's also done. Um, it just hasn't been... It's not been finished. I'm pretty sure with the quick build you don't need to designate it as a room. We'll see when that gets complete. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to need offices. So we're going to need four or five offices. Five. Well, let's have a quick look at the... Oh, bureaucracy is actually closed. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's five or maybe six max. But what we'll do is we'll get the warden in. I'm just waiting to see if I need to designate this as a visitation area. Does it do the room as well or is it just... And as soon as I finish the floor, this white outline will disappear and we'll see if we need to actually designate it. It's all the little things that I've completely forgotten. Mm, how's it going to do it? Oh. oh, it actually tells us what... That's interesting. That's a, a new touch. I didn't know I did that. Oh, there we go. So it has actually given it visitation. Okay, cool. Right, that's fine. So what we're going to do then now is going to run the electricity uh, just up. Now, I know the capacitor's go all right up around the outside so let's and one goes on diagonally let's run that because I don't want to take up the space of a capacitor I don't think it does do that but it takes up the space of one if it's a utility view but I don't want to run the risk okay fine that's that done so let's get the officers in now so we can do some uh, quick builds let's get the officers in turn those around this is saving a massive amount of time now one thing I noticed with the, the quick builds is that normally if you build foundations and you do them like that, it will take down the wall in between the two rooms and merge them. With the quick build, it doesn't seem to do that. So you have to do it there. Now, if you did that with foundations, it would leave the room, the, the wall in place. I've actually got this back to front. With a quick build, you have to put it there as opposed to there, which you would do normally, um, which is interesting. And we want that to be brick wall so i need to build it there I'm just gonna make sure i am correct again it's been a while and i have played played through like five ten minutes just to reacquaint myself with the mechanics of the game i think that's how it works so we shall see and if you get it wrong we'll just do it again it's fine it's not it's not a big bother but three capacitors start off with that's actually quite nice okay the other thing we need to do is take the grants uh the grants on here yes they are grants we'll take the first two gives us a bit more cash and it gives us an idea of what we need to build yeah it's done it no, it hasn't done it correctly. Or has it? No, it hasn't. That's interesting. Okay. So what I need to do is... I'll make... I'll just knock down this wall just to make it a, bit, a little bit bigger. Live and learn. Hmm. Alright. So what we need to do is now get some more offices. So we'll have, uh, let's go with uh, walls and doors and demolish walls and just do that. Just because it just looks much nicer. We're going to go with the uh, foundations now, building brick. I think we'll do the offices the old school way. So six by six. By six. One, two. Yeah, I want it six by six. That's actually one is a bit bigger. And then you'll see what I mean. So walls and doors, doors, staff door. On that. Okay, the other thing we need to do is we need to build um, a storage room. So we're going to go with storage room, probably down here actually. Nice and big. We don't want it to be part of the same room, so we'll do that there. And again, we'll do a staff door on the front. Right, so the office has been done, which is great. So let's mark that as an office. And then what I'll do is I'll, I can clone, I can clone this, and then that'll make it a bit easier. Uh, where are we? Office, 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 office. I'm just not seeing it. Go. Now, a nice touch about this is if you hover over it, it, it highlights the offices for you, which I think is really good. I love that. It's a, it's a great, great little touch. All right. All right. Now, in terms of um, objects, so let's zoom in. We can get uh, office desk, a chair. So we need office desk, chair, and a filing cabinet. Whoops, chair. There we go. Chair and a filing cabinet. Let's put that there. And I think that's all we need. Chair and a filing cabinet. Yep. 
Okay, so this is going to be the storage room. So let's mark that as storage. Storage, storage, there we go. And in order to get... Uh... And what I did notice actually, I was going to put lights um, here, but uh, I'm going to actually put lights outside as well, because I think it looks nicer. Just one probably here in the corner. Where would that be under? Objects, I guess. Let's type in light. Like, I got wall lights. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, let's do that. And you got floodlights as well. Oh, wow. Oh, let's put floodlight here. That'll be... No, we're probably going to use that space for building. That's fine. Let's just do that. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we've got two offices now. So let's set up another one. So they're not going to be together. So it's going to be six by six. It's actually going to be... If I do that... That should work because then it'll have four inside and it, it will use that same common wall as well. Okay, stick a door on. Let's get the door, staff door. And we'll do the same the other side. And then what I'll do is, is I'll clone the inside just to speed that up no end. Sorry for the background noise and we've got some work going on outside. Just shut the window a minute. Sticking up a fence, and I think they're cutting concrete, so it's going to be quite noisy. Yes, yeah, so that's worked really well. So what I can do, I can do the cloning now. Now the cloning is here. There we go. So I right-click and just drag, and then do that there. Press Escape, and then right-click and drag. Oh, I think the cloning got taken off. There's cloning there. Oh, actually, hold, oh, hangs on to it. Can I rotate that then? Oh, that's good. Oh, cool. Well, I'll do that. Makes life much easier. Alrighty. So that's that done. So we've got four officers now. So which means that we can now hire the warden. You know, the biggest office, naturally. Which means this is now unlocked. We're going to do security, finance, maintenance, and psychology. Alright, good. So he's going to work on those. We're going to sort the flooring out as well, just to make sure that they can get around a lot more easily. Actually, I don't want paving stone. I want what these are. They're, they're a bit more definite. Are they concrete tiles? I think they are concrete tiles, aren't they? Yeah, let me just right-click on that, just to get rid of it. And then choose concrete tiles, which I believe is the right one to use. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got the storeroom, we've got the offices, we've got reception, we've got the visitation. I'm going to have to stick another door in here. And this door's going to have to be changed as well. So let's dismantle that. We're going to switch in a uh, more robust door on this. And then visitation, we need a door on there for the, for the staff. Sorry, for the prisoners. Because uh, they obviously need to come in and out to see their family. which is looking good. So things that also need to be near the front of the prison is the kitchens really, because we don't want them to have to bring supplies all the way through the prison to the other side. So the kitchen really does need to be near this sort of area. And also very easy to take out garbage. We also need to set up an export room actually. Let's do that ahead of time before I forget. Let's do, let's do that across the road. Like so, cool. Um, right. So we've got that. Let's quickly do the power. Let's run the power up here, up to here. Run it across and that will share between those two rooms as well. All right. Okay, that's that. Water we don't need to bother with just yet. So I'm going to build the kitchen here. I notice these aren't. This is not brick. I obviously missed the trick there, but I can change it over really quickly. This is one nice thing I noticed, is that you just draw over the concrete with brick walls and they do it really quickly. I think that's a really nice touch and good for them for doing it this way. It does make you uh, make it easy to wipe out earlier mistakes, quite simply. Stick the staff door on that. And, right, that door's going to have to go. I noticed, dismantle, I noticed that they've actually got a proper door for visitors visitor door so the visitors can go through it 
without needing a guard to open it for them. That's a really nice touch because one of the, the gripes I had was the visitors frequently had to kind of just bumble around outside a door waiting for a guard to come and open it for them. And sometimes guards just weren't available. So that's a really, really nice touch. I love that. All right, doors. Well, this one needs to be kind of max security, doesn't it? Jail door, grey. We don't want large, do we? Jail door, orange. Orange? Yellow. Yeah, yellow's good. Oh, no, hang on a minute. There's reasons for that. Protective custody. Oh, I see. It probably doesn't mean anything, but let's just stick with the good stuff for now. Okay, so we need kitchens. Um, so let's do that next. We are going to set up some kitchens. Let's go with uh, building brick. Kitchens can probably go here, make it nice and long, so we can it can scale accordingly. Oh, this maybe I need to make this too wide, but the prisoners won't be coming out here. This is going to be locks basically there. Um, the only access prisoners will have to visitation, which is here. There'll be a door there, so they can't get to it there either. Um, so this will be a staff-only zone, uh, on, obviously uh, for visitors as well. So that will probably work. Now we need um, an entrance on the kitchen. Need to get used to these menus again. It's been a while. So staff door there for them to get in and out and. I'll let them do that. We're going to put in a double gap here for them to come into the actual canteen. I think it's probably a good idea. So let's let them work on that. Now what rooms am I missing? Missing anything important yet? Staff room. Right. Yep. Staff room's a good idea. So let's get a staff room in probably up here. Maybe a way to get to it from over here. Um, bom, 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 bom. Yeah. There we go. I'm more comfortable with foundations rather than quick build because I know where I stand with that. How big does a staff room have to be? Is there any... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Staff room. There. Has to be 4x4. Four four. Okay, it's the same size as the office. That's easy. That is nice and easy. Foundations brick. Uh, let's put it this side. So it's 4x4, four four, so it needs to be that. That there. Cool. And I think we're going to put on two doors onto this. So they can get to it from either side, depending on where they are. So from the jail side and then from here, if these people want to come up and chill out, they can do that. And again, let's run the flooring. Concrete tiles run that up there. Just to keep the flow of traffic. Let's run that down there as well. On there. And we're going to get a brick wall just to go there. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to put a door in there. Might be a good shortcut for uh, one of the guards, maybe. So let's stick that there. I'm going to get a concrete tile outside just to lead to the exit. All right, good. So kitchen's done. Fantastic. Let's get the kitchen up. Mm, kitchen, 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 kitchen. Why am I not seeing the kitchen? There it is. Doink. I think these ones outlined in white is what the to-do list is. So that's actually very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Right, if I zoom in on the kitchen, uh, look at the objects. We need cookers. Which round does that go? Is it that way? Yes, it looks like it's that way. So, a cooker. We need a sink. So just conscious of the fact we need a door in here for the to get through to the canteen, of course. So, let's do the sink there. Um, right, what else do we need? Sink, fridge. Actually, what does it tell me here? Cooker, fridge, sink. Cooker, sink, and a fridge. And we'll put that on the back wall down here. Now we can expand as necessary. And I think a bin is obviously very important as well. Let's put a bin next to that. Um, I think we are good. All right, cool. Right, now with the kitchen, we're going to do some double doors to get to the canteen, but I will do that momentarily. First of all, we need to build the canteen. Uh, let's put the brick foundation in, and we're going to do it sort of... I'll tell you what I'll do. Give me a sec. I need to know how big the... Where is it? Uh, benches and Benches and tables... Table's small. 
Table small, table oak, serving tables. So serving tables are actually really big. How, how wide are they? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A huge table. So you need a table and then benches, presumably. So how big is a table? One, two, three. So tables are four and benches are also four. So the whole thing is uh, four by three. Okay, so it goes to the planning mode. Objects, I guess. So it's four by three. So that's the door comes out, space, then four by three. Four by three. Actually, that works really well. So that's where the benches and tables are going to go. The space in the middle. So each one of these can hold eight, eight, sixteen, twenty. That's forty-eight. Then get along there, and then get along there. They're up against the wall there, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine for now. I think, um, I think that that works. That works for me. So we can make it that big. We leave a little bit more space because what we will do is we'll stick in some toilets. Actually, I'm tempted just to do another one, so it'd be symmetrical. They've got space up and down it. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. 19,506. We are running out of money quite quickly. I'll get in with the bureaucracy. So we've approved the security dude and working on the maintenance. So let's hire security man. No, sorry, chief. Where's he going? Oh, that's his office. He decided he wanted that office instead. Okay. So that unlocks certain things in itself, but I can't remember what. Planning. No, it's not planning, is it? I thought it was deployment. Uh, no, I think you get that. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So that unlocks. That then access gives you access to all of this. Right. Got it. Okay. Okay, so uh, unlock finance, we're doing that. Hire an accountant, that's fine. Holding cell, shower, yard, canteen, two guards, two cooks. Okay. So they'll be finishing that shortly. We need to plumb up the utilities as well. So let's uh, poke across the power to there, power to there. And we need to connect up the some large pipes from here. But obviously not too close to... Let's cancel that. Oops. Not too close. And then we switch to small pipes. And I've just realised I've actually put that in back to front. That is terrible. Move. Oh, that's cool. Can you do that? Did that accept it? Yes, move. That's, that's really good. I like that. Nice touch. Very good indeed. So do I need to lay that one now? I can't remember if I need to lay it on top of it or not. Or just up to it. We'll see. I think you do. <clears throat> okay, so the kitchen, that's in, that's in. Fantastic. Just wait for this to finish. Oh, it requires an entrance. Yes, it does. Of course it does. Uh, let's, for the sake of argument, put it... There's going to be a door. Let's put that at the top there. I want the guards to be able to come in this way, but no way for the prisoners to get out. So that works. Once we hook stuff in the kitchen up it starts taking a lot of power and so we have to watch this power meter and maybe add more capacitors if we need to okay so once that door goes on we should be able to get this done I should finish it yeah I wasn't quite what I had in mind but that's okay that's fine right so in terms of objects inside we're gonna go with bench there and there. And let's do table. Oh, heck. I meant <laughs> do that again. Table there, table there. Right. Then bench. Oh, bench that one. That bench there, that bench there, that one there, and that one there. And what I'll do is I'll clone those and just do it a few more times. Alright, plan, planning. So let's get rid of clear plans. Yep. Cool. Alright. Speed it up. Now we need to put some uh, power into this building as well. Now that was only stretched so far. So let's stretch it all the way to the end. It may reach the other end. It may not. Oh, is that in? Damn, they don't waste time. 
let's slow that down a little bit. It's going to overtake my ability to keep up with it. So let's do a clone, and we're going to choose that, and we're going to pop it there, and we're going to pop it there, and that will do for now. Now what I tend to do is put some toilets in this area so they have the ability to relieve themselves, don't have to wait. Um, so I'm going to put in a couple of brick walls, just a couple of toilets, a little door on the front, and just a couple of toilets behind. So they have the ability to, as I said, just uh, take care of business if they're stuck in. Um, the I've just realized there's no lights in here. It's interesting. Auto lights is on. Hmm. That's strange. I don't build this manually, so this is very odd. Hmm. Okay. I'll put some lights in here manually then, by the looks of it. That's fine. I can do that. Uh, walls and doors. Where is it? It's objects, isn't it? And then lights. I wonder what I did wrong there. Don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's go with that for now. Okay, so let's um, clean up those toilets as well. I'm going to run a large pipe. Uh, let's see this down here. So basically, the, you, in case you don't know, you don't want to run large pipes up to the dormitories the cell sorry so if you do that they can actually escape using the pipes which is obviously not optimal so i need to mark this as a canteen now sweet interesting i can't mark that as a canteen hmm Right, that's because it's got the doors on, and it demarks it as a different part of the prison, I th think. Let's do that, and then we'll try and mark it again as a canteen, and we'll see if that works. I think that's why it does it. Uh, okay, let's give that a... Uh... There we go, perfect. Yeah, it was the doors that's causing the problem. So now they're still in the canteen, they can use the toilets if they need to, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, serving tables, yes, we need serving tables. And I may have moved these a little bit too close to here. So I suspect these serving tables are going to take up a lot of space. No, I think we're okay. Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't leave space for the door. Oh boy, this was just should. Ah, yeah. That's what it needs to do. I think I can get away with just putting a brick wall in here instead and then. Not, not using like foundations, and then just get rid of that. That should do the trick. We'll see. We'll see. I think that'll do it. And then demolish that wall. I don't know if that will cause problems with the foundations. We'll, we'll see. If I get rid of that. Then what I can do is I can put the serving tables. Oh, there we go. And I'll just make that canteen to there as well. There you go. Right, then I'll make the um, serving tables here. So one in the corner there. One there. Clearly that door was in completely the wrong place, so let's deal with that. Staff door there, and we'll stick a staff door there instead of there. And we'll dismantle that door as well. Alright, that's better. That's better. Okay, now we're going to stick a wall on there instead. Alright, good. So the canteen's done, kitchen's done. We don't need any cooks yet. The jingling of the bell that you hear means that uh, we've achieved something here, on here, sorry, or we've unlocked. So we've unlocked maintenance, we've unlocked psychology, and we've unlocked, unlocked finance, which I think was what the bell was. So let's hire these staff. So um, foreman, go in. Psychologist needs to be accessible by the prisoners uh, for their classes. So having him up here, the office up here is no good at all. However, we also stick the accountant up here instead. Bell's ringing, that's helpful, and yeah, I think I may have built this as the office, but as I said, the psychologist has to go um, 
prison side, basically, because they, they take their classes in the psychologist's office. So having up here is no good at all. Okay, good progress has been made. I think we are going to leave it there for today. We've hit the 30-minute mark. And tomorrow we should start getting some prisons in. I'm going to whack up um, the cell blocks, uh, probably north and south, the yard, a place for them to sort of chill out, relax, and then we'll get the prisoners in. And then we can start making some money, because at the moment it's being drained quite heavily. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please leave any comments. Um, it's always much appreciated. I always like to stay in touch with, uh, with people who watch. It's always great. Any suggestions, any tips, any ideas? I've been a long time since I've played this. It's always uh, helpful to receive things that uh, people see that I've missed or just never knew about in the first place, especially with everything having changed so much in the last few years. So there we go. I'll be back with another Prison Architect episode shortly. But for now, this is Bug, putting the plug. <laughs>